What's up, Wolf Pack? This is Paul from Alpha Wolf. Knife and weapon review. Now, what I want to show you guys today is the K-Bar EK Commando Model 51. This thing comes in an enormous box. Let's get a nice look at that. It's a lot smaller than the box. So, they kind of trick you a little on the uh the size there but it's a great knife it's a great outdoor knife um this is the uh limited lifetime warranty if you guys want to read that i don't know if you want to pause that and read it <coughs> um this is the uh the model uh 51 by the way yeah and if you guys didn't know uh all the k-bars are made in the u.s only in new york by the way uh they take a lot of pride in that uh this is a, um everything the k-bar uh that the ek commando knife is basically made for it's a reference to the world war ii allied commando units you know such as the marine raiders rangers First Special Service Force and British Commandos who are highly respected for their hand-to-hand -hand combat and fighting abilities. EK knives have been manufactured since 1941 and battle proven through World War II, Korea, Vietnam, and the Gulf War, Afghanistan, and Iraq. The thousands of letters he, uh, John E.K. received during his lifetime from a satisfied soldiers, marines, sailors, and airmen was the ultimate satisfaction for his patriotic American. For this patriotic American. And it's basically, uh, you know, over the years, the E.K. Commando Knife has continued to build knives for military. Uh, special operators, law enforcement personnel, professional adventurers, and collectors the world over, most of whom have been EK Commando Knife owners for decades. John EK's name, his knives, and the EK Commando Knife Co. live on today as a, a legacy of his ideas, his skills, and his heart, and his patriot patriotism k k bar is proudly is proud to be the living link between the tradition of john ek and the ek commando knife company that's great that they put all that on the box you know give you a nice little backstory of everything you know what i mean so they're obviously very proud of this knife you know what i mean i uh, i'll tell you it it's got an incredible sheath. I mean, look at that. Look how durable this thing is. It's a, it's a Calcon sheath, um, obviously with a belt loop, you know? So this thing is uh, pretty durable. You can take it off if you want. You could take the belt loop off and just use this. And obviously, uh, it has a it has holes for paracord and everything else so that's great if you just want to strap it to your thigh or your boot or whatever um wow yeah even has a lanyard hole right here all right so let's get into the blade really like the sheath clicks in very nicely nice friction fit there so there it is the ek51 and here's the EK Commando Knife Co. logo. Uh, I'm partnered with uh, K Bar uh, in Only New York, obviously. Now, the great thing about this knife is how durable it is. And you really get a good feel to this, to these handles. Like, 
It feels great in the hand, honestly. The ergos are good. It sticks up through the handle entirely a little, but that's just the way it was designed. And it honestly doesn't doesn't get in the way of the feel of it. Um, got a nice little blade guard here. So if you did have to stab in, I guess, and use it for a commando knife, it, your finger wouldn't slip and go into the blade. All right, basically to me, I would consider this, you know, a butchcraft, like an excellent butchcraft knife, because it's very durable. And I mean, you could you could use that for like setting up camp, and, and basically getting your wood set up for starting a campfire and all that kind of stuff. This great knife for that, great butchcraft style knife. I mean, and you Marines, special ops, army guys, all that out there could use this as a an excellent combat knife if need be too. <coughs> no, but. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's got uh, black, they call it ultra mid handles, very strong, very strong looking polymer style handles. You could clean them up good, very strong, durable. Uh, the way that the ergos are on this, you could put your finger here. You can get grip on the side. It doesn't have any jimping. I would have liked to see a little bit of jimping here, but it doesn't have any jimping. Um, it's very sharp. It's uh, 1095 Crovan steel, like a lot of K-Bar type knives are, which is very durable. They heat treat it very well. K-Bar's really good about that. It's a nice flat grind. Um, it's, uh, <clears throat> it's a black finished blade, um, black finished drop point blade. Um, that's called black parkerized. They call it black parkerized finish. Um, now let's, uh, yeah, I really like the design on this. This drop point type design is good for multi-use type things. It's, I mean, that's a that's a true and like a tried and true knife design. Uh, drop point blades been around forever. Those 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 are like one of the most widely used blade styles. You've got a nice point there. A nice, like, rounded cutting edge. The blade kind of drops down into that point. I mean, let's get into the specs on this baby in a second. Let's, uh, let's weigh it up a little. Give you an idea of the weight on this baby. Remember, it's a nice sturdy blade. It's not going to be exceptionally light. 6.1 ounces. <clears throat> And then with the sheath, because let's face it, you'll be carrying that sheath along with you. Nine ounces right on the dot. The sheath's not light, but you're not you're gonna feel it too much if it's strapped to your side there. It's not like in your pocket pulling down your pants. You attach it to your belt, you won't feel it as much. Now let's give it a nice little uh, overall length here. Eight and a half inches blade length is like four and three eighths. Uh, usable blade length is right around four inches. Yeah, right around four inches. Now let's check and see. How thick it is. 
the spine on this is four millimeters, 4.08. 4.08, which is 0.1605 inches. Now the handle is 0.693. Point six nine three or seventeen point six three millimeters. So it's a nice it fills up the hand nicely. It's got a great grip. <clears throat> I really like that grip. And like I said before, it'll keep you from sliding in with that blade guard you got right there. Now you sharpen it. I would have liked to see more like a choil here. Doesn't have a choil to sharpen. So you might eventually get into that plunge grind. The plunge grind starts here, moves its way up. That's basically just the grind where they sharpened that knife. The blade grind. There you go. You can see it right there. So it would have been nice to have a nice little blade choil here just to uh, be able to sharpen it easier. <clears throat> but a lot of strength and everything else, they kind of keep that from having a, a plunge grind. Would have been nice to have though. Uh, but like I said, I mean, <clears throat> this is great for like a butchcraft style knife. I mean, you know, let's face it. We're, we're not going to be using majority of these people aren't going to be using these for like combat i mean i don't know leave a comment if you're a military guy uh would you use this as a combat knife i mean it's stealthy nice and black and it's not too big and it's very stout and strong i mean it's a nice thick thick spine it's got a nice point to it and everything i mean <clears throat> you can use it for opening up your rations and cutting whatever for everything, all purpose, I guess. I mean, I don't know if you guys would be putting any paracord on that, but I guess you could put paracord on that, you know. But yeah, um, the other thing that's interesting is. But they went for the screws here. Yeah. You could use a flathead or a regular screwdriver for that. That's kind of interesting. Yeah. It's kind of interesting how they went for the screw design. Multi-use, I guess. Huh. It's nice. It's nice to have that option here. You use almost anything to screw or unscrew your handle scales. When it comes down to it. But uh, yeah. And there you have it, guys. The K Bar EK Commando Model 51. Like I said, let me know how you guys feel about that and what you'd use it for. I mean, I'd use it obviously for like butchcraft style stuff. That I think that'd be great for camping. I honestly would recommend this type of knife for a nice bushcraft camping knife. Uh, but let me know. Let me know how you guys like that. Um, you know, and stay safe, guys. And I will see you guys on the next one.